Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel and in this video we will be looking at open source OCR tools to work with scanned PDFs either as a developer or anyone really. In today's digital age, the importance of paperless offices cannot be overstated. And scanned PDFs has a vital role in moving towards dig digitalization. However, with scanned PDFs comes the challenge which is Scan PDFs are essentially images, making it impossible to search for specific text or data within them. And this is where OCR, or Optical Character Recognition, technology comes in handy. Whether you are an employee looking to digitalize your documents, or a business looking to streamline your workflow, or even a developer who's trying to get his hands dirty or her hands dirty with natural language processing. This guide will help you set up everything and get started with OCR for scanned PDFs. So this video is going to be broken down into three sections. First, we will go over a brief overview on OCR. Then we will look at how we can work with and how we will install the OCR tool that we, we will be using today. And finally, we will take a look at the code. But first, what is OCR? OCR is short for Optical Character Recognition, and it's a technology that converts handwritten, printed, or even typed text from images, scanned documents, a photo of a document, and even text from a scene in a photo. And it converts that into text format that you can use and manipulate in streamlining document processing. In this video, we will be using Google Collab. And if you're not familiar with Google Collab, I have linked a good beginner's tutorial on Google Collab in the description. Also, the open source technology for OCR that I will be using is Tesseract OCR. And we will be using the Python wrapper, which is PyTesseract. And Tesseract OCR is an open source text recognition engine that is un available under the Apache 2.0 license. And Tesseract can recognize more than 100 languages, varying from English to Spanish to French to Arabic. Uh, you just need to make sure that you have the language installed. Tesseract also supports various image formats, including PNG, GPEG, and TIFF, and that's very important since we have to convert our PDFs into image formats that are either PNG, GPEG, and TIFF, and we will see how we will do that in our uh, workflow of the code. And Tesseract also supports various output formats, whether it's plain text, PDF, invisible text only, etc. We must keep in mind that to get the best OCR results, we need to improve the quality of the image we are providing as input for Tesseract. This flowchart essentially breaks down the code. First and foremost, we must install PyTesseract and import the necessary libraries. Then we will load our PDFs that we want to convert into text. Then we will convert our PDFs into images as PyTesseract only accepts images as inputs. We will pre-process the images, make sure that they're sharp and they're in the highest quality possible, and then apply OCR and export the text, or even if you'd like, use the text that you've that you've exported, or let's say that you've captured using OCR for other NLP tasks. So without further ado, let's jump over to the code and see how we can do that. First things first, we must connect to our compute engine, make sure that we are we have acti activated our runtime and Google Collab. And let's start by installing the required packages, which is essentially Tesseract OCR and the Python wrapper, which is PyTesseract, into our Google Collab notebook. And as PyTesseract only accepts images as inputs, we will need to convert the PDF into images. And to do so, we will be needing the help of PyPDF2 and FITS libraries to help us capture the pages and turn them into a list of image files that we will be later feeding into our uh, Tesseract or OCR. 
So let's pip install fits, pypdf2 and pymu pdf just in case. PyPDF2 library is a popular library for working with PDF files in Python, and it provides a number of useful functions for interacting with PDF files, such as creating PDF files, reading, and manipulating PDF files. While the FITS library is a Python wrapper for the MUPDF library, which provides a number of useful functions for working with PDF formats. Now that we've installed all the necessary li libraries, let's jump over and load our required PDF. In this video, we will be using the uh, sample PDF of the Medium article that this video is based on. And so essentially, I took the Medium article that I have on my Medium page, which is linked in the description below, and I've created a PDF document of it. And we will see whether or not we, we will be able to extract the text within this PDF. So first and foremost, I've uploaded the file onto Google Colab, and I'm going to use PyPDF2's PDF Reader to create a object to store the data of the PDF so that we can have access to various properties that can be used later on to extract information from the PDF file, such as the number of pages of the PDF, the title of the document, the author, and many, many other important details. And the object that we've created with the help of PDF Reader is PDF Reader. And I went ahead and I ran the code. So first and foremost, using the PDF Reader's object that we've created using PyPDF2, we will be reading the length of number of pages, and this is important as we will be looping through each page of the PDF and capturing the image, uh, capturing an image of that specific page. And using FITS, we open up the PDF. We will be creating a list of pages, and this will be very useful for later when we will be applying the OCR on each specific page. And for each page in the range of total pages, we will be loading the page. We will be zooming into the page and through using the pix map, we will be getting a pix map of the page itself. And a pix map is just an array of pixel color values of the page and saving that page as an image. And we've created a specific name for the image. So the name naming uh, convention that I'm using is PDF underscore image and the string uh, string value of the page that we're looking at. So if we're looking at the first page, it's going to be zero, the second is going to be one, etc. And we will be converting the PDF pages into a image format that PyTasseract can handle, which remember, it can handle PNG, GPEG, and TIFF. Okay. And then we will be saving that image. And after running this function, we have been, we've generated six images and printing this array, we will get the list of those images, which is PDF underscore image zero, PDF underscore image one, image two, etc. And since we have six pages in our PDF, we have generated six images. Now, the fourth and fifth step would be to pre-process the images that we've generated over here. So if I open this, this, this image needs to be pre-processed. And to do so, we will need the help of OpenCV. Also, since we will be dealing with each image individually and we will be extracting the text of each image individually, I wanted to have a single dictionary uh, for, for all the pages of the PDF. So I've created a dictionary where we can store the page number and the text of that specific page. And since PyTesseract needs a very high quality image for it to give us accurate results, we, will, we have pre-processed the image uh, in a way to convert it into grayscale and also through setting the threshold to convert it into a binary image. Finally, using PyTesseract's function image to string, we've taken, e taken each image that has been pre-processed by OpenCV, 
and applied that function to. We've appended the uh, page number and text of that specific page onto the, our dictionary. So let's go ahead and run this. What will happen is we will be printing the page number after completing the whole process for that page. So now we're at page number four, page number five, six. Now we've, if we wanted to print the results for a specific page, we can do so and I've, I will be printing the results of the first page. So let's go ahead and compare what's in the image and with what the results is. We can see that it's, it's nearly the same results. Now that we've uh, generated the text, you can either use this text for whatever purpose, whatever goal you have, and for the sake of simplicity and for sake, the sake of this video, the final step that I will be going ahead with is just exporting the text as a TXT file. So since I have a dictionary of each page and the text of that specific page, I will go ahead and convert the dic that dictionary into a list and from that list I will be joining that list into a string to then write it into a folder called de demo.txt. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you found it useful. You will find the Medium article that this video is based on, as well as the code used, in the, in the description down below. You can always use the code and tweak it to your own liking. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so either through subscribing and sharing my videos, or through Patreon. And as always, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more.